Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day in vet school. We have got a busy day today. It is 7.30 and I am heading out of my house soon to go to the first lab of the day. Basically, the plan for today is I have a lab in the morning. I need to come home and I need to at some point today film another surgery video assignment which I will explain all about later in the video and then I also have a midterm today at 1 30 so it's gonna be a busy day I thought I would bring you guys along we are deep into midterm season right now I think I've written seven midterms eight midterms something like that I've lost track but I thought I would bring you along show you what uh, vet school is like during midterm season and I don't have much else to say, so let's just get right on into it. Hey everyone, uh, long time no see. So basically the clip you just saw was of the lab that I was just in at OVC and it was a blood smear lab. We practice making blood smears so that we can evaluate our patient's blood and look for different characteristics in the blood. So what the red blood cells look like, what the platelets look like, and then if there's any white blood cells present. If I'm wrong, someone correct me in the comments because uh, my brain is mush today. But anyway, I'm back now. It's 9.20? something like that. And I have the rest of the morning off. They gave us basically the whole morning off to study for our midterm that's at 1.30. Like I said earlier, I still need to film my surgery video for our second assignment. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that before or after the midterm, maybe after. But the plan right now is that I'm going to make breakfast and catch up on some emails because I have been putting off life really hard this week. So anyway, that's the plan. That's what we're doing. Let's do it. Okay, a little update for you guys. I finished breakfast and then I actually filmed a quick video and it's about, I think it's 10.30 now. So I'm gonna try and get in about an hour study session before my midterm. Our midterm today is on health management and we're currently learning about evidence-based vet med using the best available research to come to conclusions or answer questions. So that's what that midterm is on this afternoon. Um, it's only a 30 minute midterm, which actually a lot of our midterms this year have been 30 minutes, which stresses me out slightly but i'm gonna go ahead and study for that and then i will update you guys probably either before the midterm or after or oh i don't know <laughs> so yeah fingers crossed it goes well also i just thought i would give you guys another little update on how midterms are going like i said before we've written seven or eight midterms already we either have like one to three a week. So we're about four weeks into midterm season. And unfortunately in vet school, midterm season is basically from October until April. <laughs> so it's basically a full year of midterms. We um, pretty much every single Monday we have a midterm and then weeks like this week, we have a midterm on Thursday as well. So yeah, that's kind of how things are going. It is definitely a little bit overwhelming, but um, I'm trying my best to keep on top of stuff and I'm trying to stay on top of the material. But like I said, it is a lot more content and a lot more, I don't really even know how to explain it. It's just a lot more than first year, but we're doing our best. We're hanging in there and so far so good. Okay, studying is going, well, it's going. It's not going great, but it's not going bad. So like, you know, it's going. But I had a DM from someone the other day asking about these glasses. Um, I had mentioned in a previous video that I use these blue light blocking glasses and someone wanted to know where I got them from slash do I like them slash do they work? Um, these are the first blue light blocking glasses I've ever used. And I got them because I was getting a lot of headaches with being on my computer, like, 24 7 and i don't know if it's a placebo effect i don't know if they actually work but i do find i get less headaches and they are quite cute so anyway i will link those down below in my description so if you guys want to try a pair or uh if you want to just have cute fake glasses then you know there you go Guys, 
Uh, okay, I just finished my midterm and it went fine. But as I was setting up for my midterm using lockdown browser, I would lift it up my computer to show my desk area to make sure I wasn't cheating. And I knocked my water bottle over and water spilled everywhere. <laughs> Oh, thank God it didn't get on my computer and I could write my midterm. But anyway, it was recording me while that happened. So you can see me freaking out. So I recorded me being recorded. So yeah, that's great. Anyway, midterm went fine. Now that's done. I have the rest of the afternoon. I have a couple classes, but they're all remote classes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to film my surgery video now. And then I'll probably finish the classes before dinner. So today I'm going to be practicing some more of my surgical skills in my bedroom. If you see, I have my uh, patient set up right there. And basically, if you've watched some of my other videos, I talked about how our surgery course this year, we're practicing a lot of the content at home. And the way that we get assessed on our surgery and our asepsis skills is that we have to practice the tasks on our own time. But then once we feel comfortable with them, we record them and then we send them into the prof and then we get marked that way. So they give us feedback on things that we're doing wrong or things that we might have missed. Once we feel like we have perfected the tasks and we've gotten feedback from the professor, we have labs that we go into in very small groups and it's basically instructors are present there and they can give us personal feedback in person and actually watch us go through the steps of scrubbing in, of gowning and gloving and then preparing a patient for surgery. So I already filmed my gowning and gloving assignment and I also filmed a video of me practicing that. So if you haven't gone to see that yet, make sure you check it out because it's, <laughs> it's not great, but it's pretty funny. So that's good. Yeah, today I am practicing or filming my video assignment for preparing a patient. So draping the patient and getting them ready for surgery. So yeah, uh, come along, grab some popcorn. Um, I feel like this one was easier than the gowning and gloving for sure. For some reason, I still struggle with putting my gloves on. So if anyone has tips on that, uh, that would be great. But yeah, hopefully this goes smooth and we can get this submitted quickly. Hello guys, uh, not only is it a completely different day from the last clip you just saw me in, it's actually a completely different week. <laughs> Basically vet school is just punching me in the face constantly. 
I really have no excuse other than life is getting crazy. But anyway, I was gonna end this video and then I realized I have a lab on campus in an hour. So instead of ending the video here, I thought I would bring you guys along to that, show you what we're doing in our Cal Palpation labs and then end the video. So, so at least me uh, losing track of time gave you guys an extra lab to see. So anyway, I will bring you guys along to the lab and you guys can uh, see me shove my hand up a cow's butt. So welcome to vet school. <laughs> So I am home now from my CalPalp lab. I have a bunch of midterms to study for, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye guys.